Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading here at Mad World Tarot. And my goodness, I read on the Parkles yesterday, inspired by HG Tudor's interview with um, Trevor Colt. And uh, as a spin-off from that interview, it struck me that I needed to look and see how Harry and Meghan treat people, generally people they work with. So yesterday I did a little dig around around uh, in the realm of alleged bullying and got some quite interesting energy and lo and behold this morning when I woke up the headline on the Daily Mail was that Harry's chief of staff has quit. Uh, a man by the name of Josh, Josh Keller uh, Kettler, sorry, I can't even read my own writing. Josh Kettler, I hope I have his name correctly. Harry's chief of staff, and I call him the chief of stuff because I don't really believe that Harry has much stuff for anyone to do, but no, he apparently needed a chief of stuff. And that person has been in situ for three months and has now decided to leave has quit and this is just on the eve of the Parkles tour of Colombia which is already controversial and now looks absolutely chaotic and so of course the obvious question is why somebody who took what we can only assume is quite a high profile high status high paying job should suddenly abandon ship particularly as the Parkles are off on their big adventure to Colombia so we're going to dig around today and ask why uh, Josh Kettler decided to quit. The Parkles, of course, have leapt upon this and said, no, no, uh, he was on a three-month trial period and it was by mutual consent. But Richard Eden has put his hand up and said, oh, really? Uh, give us proof because that's not how it was described when he was appointed and the appointment was made public. So I think we're going to ignore that. And we're going to ask, we're using the after tarot, which I think I should describe as the after math tarot in light of all the disasters that have befallen the Parkles recently. Uh, but we're going to have a look. I'm going to ask how uh, the chief of the staff chief of staff uh, felt when he took the job as opposed to how he feels now and then we're going to ask why he quit why he walked out what seems like walking out uh, various reasons have been put forward by people on various uh, social media platforms thinking maybe it was a money issue perhaps cash the cash strapped park halls haven't uh, been able to pay that is speculation of course other people speculate that perhaps it was to do with alleged bullying temper tantrums not listening that sort of stuff other people speculate it might have to do with the trip to Colombia which let's face it pretty dangerous and um, also controversial, just uh, the politics of it. And never mind what um, some people speculate might be, um, uh, let's say there might be a bit of a car chase sort of scenario built into the trip. And uh, so perhaps this man has quit because of some sort of scheme that he doesn't want to be part of. I'm, I'm wording it very carefully as I always try to. Um, but we're going to have a look and then I want to know as a final question today on uh, this reading impact for Harry and Meghan. How is this going down in Montecito? Um, it was Harry's chief of stuff, not Meghan's. But of course you know, it could be all to do with Megan. So we're going to look and see with the after tarot, the aftermath tarot today. And of course, let me remind you as I warm these cards up that it's tarot and it's for fun and entertainment. And it's all my opinion and it's all speculation. And I just read energy here. And there is a disclaimer in the box below. I think I've got the right energy in the cards now. The wind is howling outside. It's very cold. I think we're having hopefully our last blast of winter. It has been a very cold and a very wild winter here today. Um, today, This year I'm all a bit flustered. There's been some raucous singing and uh, it always takes me a while to um, get uh, quieten down energetically after the singing. 
so a little bit hoarse as well um, I will explain the cards there we are one more and then we'll get our underlying energy out nine of cups is the smug and self-satisfied card uh, it can be an overconsumption card uh, it just in terms of being a bit of a lush um you know it's rosé all day kind of energy in that nine of cups um it's come out in a, in a in a positive way so i don't think that this is was this man's dream come true if he's left after three months and apparently it's not on his profile on linkedin this little stint at archiewell uh, so I don't think it's his dream come true. I think it's more an indication of perhaps the lifestyle in Montecito that might be at the root of this. Shall we just say we'll check in with this underlying energy every now and then. But it is that kind of indulgent energy, rather pampered, rather spoiled, rather... Um, uh, almost lazy that's what's coming through for me with that um, and he was of course Harry's chief of stuff not Meghan's so situation that we are dealing with today we're dealing with a partnership we're dealing with the plans for world domination and I'm being snarky of course with the two of ones there they are Harry and Meghan holding the globe in their hands that would be the rest of the world that um, they think that they uh, can lay claim to and their plans for global domination and um, perhaps that did not go down very well with this man who has just quit Mr. Kettler and I do hope that's his name wish I had written it better anyway uh, so how did he feel going into the job Knight of Cups in reverse I think he was worried. This is somebody who's not going into it brimming over with enthusiasm for the task. Somebody maybe a, a little bit concerned about how he would handle the emotional um, consequences of the job, the ups and downs, the highs and lows, that perhaps he had a bit of a premonition or a warning or a nudge or a wink or a hint from someone that he was going into quite a volatile situation emotionally that he would have to be on guard the knight of cups is is a uh, the man who comes wooing who's full of sweet talk and charm and and all of that always a little bit sugar-coated so perhaps feeling that he had to be careful around people who looked like they were oh so sweet and oh so nice but really scratch the surface and not some of that energy came through in the reading that i did yesterday on these two and particularly harry and so let's see how he feels now allegedly gone <laughs> he's gone seven of swords and he's not gone in uh, an amicable way this is not left by mutual consent as we read and uh, i think it was jack royston one of the parkour mouthpieces who wrote this um, co uh, piece that uh, richard eden is disputing uh, that is not leaving by mutual consent the seven of swords that is um uh, go disappearing as fast as you can uh, I, I don't want to I, I don't want to um, make it sound as if he's done something untoward because I'm sure he has not um, I'm sure that he's um, complied with whatever contractual terms he had working for Harry but that is somebody who's just uh, looking after himself and making good his escape it's giving me escape energy disappearing um he might have even email this is me speculating I'm, I'm i'm not saying that this is what he actually did but he might have sort of emailed in a message um, I, i'm not going to be there on monday morning that kind of a thing or don't you know don't book a, a room for me in the hotel in columbia because i'm not going to be there 
uh, it, it, it's, got, it, it's got something surprising about it as he's disappearing. It's, uh, uh, he cleared out his desk on Friday and sent the email over the weekend. That's the energy that's coming through. It's surprising. It, it's, it's a little bit covert, um, I think, for self-protection purposes that he's done this in as detached a way as possible, that they couldn't figure out, they couldn't, um, they didn't suspect what was going on. They had no warning, they had no idea that he was this unhappy, that he was actually quitting until the message landed somewhere. Someone received the news that he was gone, but by then he was already gone. That's what's coming through for me. Reasons why, all of these cards are reasons why and I'm going to talk you through them. The first one is just an open-ended reason. I just want universe to give me a clue, a hint of why. Ooh, okay. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I'm asking uh, in a separate question, I'm asking about the money issue that people were speculating might be at the root of this. Universe is coming up with a big money card, but it's in reverse, the Ace of Pentacles. He possibly saw into the future and realized that there was no future financially. The big payday or that possibly had been promised wasn't coming. That is me speculating. I have to be very clear that this is just my opinion and this is just tarot and this is just energy that we're looking at. But I think that he, I think he's got an MBA. I think he looked at this and he thought, nah, this doesn't add up. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't... It doesn't stack up. This is not something that is going to be sustainable in the long term because the Ace of Pentacles is about the long haul. This journey that you're embarking on is a slow, steady journey, but it's a journey to wealth, um, solid journey. No, definitely not. He didn't see that this was going to last, whether it was about actual money or just the situation isn't going to last, whether it's the marriage or the foundation or the royal trips, the four royal trips that they're doing, the quasi royal trips, which some uh, someone rephrased as queasy royal trips, which I thought was absolute genius. Can't remember where I saw that, but the queasy royal trips. Um, this is the money card down here, sitting underneath that Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So let's ask, have there been issues with money? Perhaps late payments, perhaps uh, we promised you um, X giant bonus and you know now we can't pay it, we're not paying it. I've got the Hanged Man, which is a card of inaction, a card of someone feeling stuck and left dangling. Quite literally. And if we're talking about money, then we might be talking about things like uh, benefits and stuff like that, that he was expecting and that he's hanging around waiting for, left in limbo. Where's the, the pension? Where's the medical? Um, where's my whatever? It's giving me that kind of sense. It's a big card. It's a major arcana. It's giving me the sense that he hung around and he waited. And again, I'm speculating based on the energy of the cards. And the things that he was expecting to come through didn't. Uncomfortable. It's a very uncomfortable situation to be in. Left dangling, left hanging around, left waiting. Feeling powerless as well. That if you complain, perhaps... Um, things end badly for you uh so hmm okay we've got some quite uh, interesting cards already now i'm going to move on to harry and megan individually harry first because he was harry's chief of staff so working relationship with harry was that a problem Ooh, the devil and it's the devil in reverse and I get a, a, a hit off that card because that card very often signifies uh, the wife rather than Harry himself and there might be a sense of her influence in the situation that made the situation very uncomfortable very difficult to deal with very unpredictable with that devil it could be Harry's energy as well let's not let him off the hook uh, why should we? Um, so the devil is very toxic, very angry, 
very volatile, very destructive energy and and it is coming through it's coming through in the reverse i would say that he wanted to distance himself from that energy separate himself from that energy whether it's harry's own personal in in as he nearly said injury personal energy or the influence of harry's wife's energy that he found very toxic very difficult that's temper tantrums it's rage it's kind of irrational rage the devil it's addiction and i said we would come back to this card that i'm just covering what the devil represents in tarot generally i said we'd come back to this underlying energy and what do we have the nine of cups which is a card of over consumption over indulgence and he might have found that it was quite difficult to get Harry in uh, a sort of sober state where he could discuss serious things with him. Just saying that is my speculation, that is the energy that's coming off us. And Harry has been quite open about his, uh, his um, uh, preferences in terms of substances, shall we say, was his happiness with using them, his, com com his comfort levels with using them. So how about Megan? Uh, we've suspected her influence might be in there. Let's see his actual relationship with her. Three of cups in reverse. Interesting. We have the party card. Uh, in reverse, the party card can be really hard partying. So we've got two. But we've got two that might be overindulging in this household. Just saying, just speculating based on the cards that are coming through and the energy of these cards and so three of cups partying hard it's also a friendship card and it is in reverse he might not have got on with megan he might have found her quite unfriendly quite cold and that wouldn't have helped the situation at all that was his energy the knight of cups coming into the situation knight of cups in reverse points to this for me that perhaps he had a little heads up from whoever recruited him or people who worked for the foundation for Archwell that were just like mm, you got to watch out for that kind of energy I'm speculating of course and let's move on to the trip to Colombia that some people say might have been a trip too far for him that he didn't want to go it's dangerous it's actively dangerous uh, it's controversial uh, they might be aligning themselves with quite controversial figures doesn't necessarily want that on his CV or want that all over the press he was there in Nigeria he's been through it once already he's seen it did it have something to do with Colombia how did he feel about that I've got the high priestess and that's a very high profile powerful female energy it's very secretive and he might have felt that the truth of what was going on in Colombia and who was really pulling the strings and organizing and what was really being organized were a little bit opaque and he wasn't comfortable with that because it is a card of secrecy mystery very powerful female energy <clears throat> and of course they were allegedly invited uh, by uh, Francia Marquez the vice president of Colombia who is a very powerful female figure but also quite controversial as far as I can con uh, can tell and of course Megan herself um, would um, equally uh, fit that billing so I think very uncomfortable with Colombia because he didn't know enough about what was actually going on, what was planned, what was really the agenda and what would really happen when they were there. And you can read between the lines of that question, of that answer, sorry. Um, final reason for quitting. Anything that he thought was a bit sus, a bit dodgy, a bit shady, that he felt like he needed to just leave as fast as he could and in an as um, discreet a way as possible with that seven of swords there so we want to know what do the cards have for us we've got the six of wands that's not shady that's a little bit of ego it's a little bit of needing it's one-upmanship 
and he might have felt uncomfortable with that. I'm speculating, as I say, eternally here, but it might be that he just found it a bit distasteful that there was a, a level of attention seeking that he wasn't comfortable with. And we saw it most recently on the CBS interview with Jane Pauley, where instead of them giving good practical uh, advice to people, uh, Harry um, turned it into a whole melodrama, the issue that they were talking about, and they did not tell people um, anything useful about what their a website was going to do it wasn't practical it wasn't sensible it was all about them and Harry and his melodrama and then of course herself and her story that she seemed quite happy in my opinion to revisit and now we're hearing is going to be revisiting it in a book breaking news today she's decided that she's just going to uh, spill it all and uh, to hell with the consequences and the royals will just have to cope today's headlines and i don't think I, he liked this i think he found it distasteful that's the word that keeps coming into my mind so how has this impacted harry and megan he's gone and he clearly went in a, in a rather surprise and covert way so how are they uh, reacting to it page of swords in reverse this is it's it's looking bad in social media and uh, you can bet your bottom dollar that there will be counter attacks there will be and there has already been with this nonsense that jack royston wrote in my opinion and also richard eden's that it was by mutual consent and he was on a trial sort of period working for harry no this is um, the clapback it's a, it's a classic clapback card, page of swords. It's communications. It's written communication. It's in reverse. It's it's critical. It's difficult energy. It's uh, it, it could even be poisonous. That word has come to my mind. So we might uh, see comments on various platforms. We might see articles that come out that are quite critical of this man. And I hope that he is braced for that because it looks possible with this page of swords. And we're being told he wasn't a good fit and all of that sort of stuff already. It might escalate into something quite, um, I'm going to use that same word, distasteful. Page of swords in reverse. So yeah, there's, there's definitely an, an energy in here of consumption laziness indulgence uh, with the devil and the three of cups in reverse for both harry and megan and our underlying energy there's money issues here he didn't see this as something that was going to be there long term he he, he quickly realized that this whole uh, foundation of the, the park hall situation was not going to be uh, around for for very long that's what's really coming through here and i think very uncomfortable with the columbia thing because he was not being informed of what was really really going on which uh, is causing my eyebrows to be raised as i'm looking at that card and uh, so i think we're in for some interesting times in the next few days that's it thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one